Have a guys. Name the one for this video. I need to sit properly. Hey, guys. Like personally, I'd never had an experience of what I wanted versus what I got gone wrong. Like you see those people when they're busy posting and they're like, hey, this is what I wanted and this is what I got. Mina, I'd never had that experience. So I always used to say, good hey, Mina, if I go to a hair salon and then the hairdresser does um does something contrary to what I want, definitely I'll stand up and be like, I want my I want my mind, I want my money. Hey, life happened. Life happened, yes, in it. For this one, sit down and enjoy because it's going to be one long story time. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your wonderful, your beautiful lady, letter T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions. Okay, thank you for your laps. Hi guys, thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, and your comments. Because basically, without an audience, I do not have a channel, guys. Before I continue, can you please take a moment and look at my dreadlocks? Literally, my dreadlocks have really grown. Like, literally, I'm really proud. Like, I'm a proud. I'm a, I'm really proud. I'm not here to talk about my dreadlocks, but I just couldn't avoid talking about those babies because they've literally grown. Shame. They've literally grown. Anyway, so guys today it's a story time on on what i ordered versus what i got gone wrong hey so this is how it happened ne? so when i left when i left south africa april 2022 for austria because i knew that it was going to take me time to get an african hair saloon in austria i then decided to plate back box braids placing those box braids i had a timeline that since it's now april i'm going to stay with those box braids up until june and then from june basically i would have figured my way around austria okay fine that's what i did I stayed with those box braids. End of June, I unplated. I still couldn't find any African salon around where I was staying, right? So, I decided to stay with my loose natural hair. Eh? Hey, Afro will show you flames. Because in the evening, I had to plate. Like, literally, if you've got Afro, you know the struggle. In the evening, you have to plate uh, those the the the, the two step the two strand twist so the hair does not shrink in the morning every day it's combing guys do you know how painful it is to comb your hair like every day in the morning and you're preparing to go to work or church or whatever so i just survived like june july august and i couldn't do it anymore september i decided to start dreadlocks like i've been contemplating on starting dreadlocks but before the dreadlocks right i i wanted to plate twist or something beautiful but i just couldn't find that hair salon so I was like okay fine let me just try dreadlocks and i've been wanting to do dreadlocks so i think it's just the perfect time to start dreadlocks okay fine fine i started calling um saloons booking for for an appointment because in austria you don't just do like in south africa whereby you just walk into a saloon okay no there are saloons in sa get me correctly there are saloons in sa whereby you you basically you look you, you like you need an appointment and everything right they are there so it's the same system in austria so you have to book an appointment and everything just has to be in, has to be like in line like everything has to be orderly so i started calling her saloons and asking inquiring about the price if they can do dreadlocks and guys the trick i was speaking in dutch not even in english <laughs> I had to explain that hey, I want to start dreadlocks. It's my first time. Are you guys able to do dreadlocks and everything? Then they're like, yes, we are able to do dreadlocks, but it will cost you. <laughs> Excuse me. They're like, it will cost you. And then I asked them, how much is it? They're like, no, it's just going to cost you um 150, 150. They're like, no, 200 euro because you're starting. Eh. I was like, 200 euro. Yes, that's a lot. I'm like, okay, fine. We're going to skip that. <laughs> okay, fine. I ended up getting an African saloon. I got that African saloon. Eh, I called that lady. I asked her, ah, how much? I want to do dreadlocks. I was not speaking to her in English, obviously, because she can speak English because she's from Africa, right? But from the other side of Africa, but it's fine. She's from Africa. So I started asking her, um, I, want to, I want to do dreadlocks. How much is it? It's my first time. I'm starting dreadlocks and everything. And then she was like, ah, oh, okay, that's nice. I've actually, I'm an expert. I do dreadlocks and everything, but it's going to cost you 100 euros. 100 euro i then negotiated and then she finally agreed to lower down the price to 80 euro okay fine because i so badly wanted dreadlocks i didn't mind paying 80 euro yes it's a lot of money but i just wanted dreadlocks so i was supposed to to bear with the price okay fine the day came it was the 21st of september hey guys that day i was so happy literally i was so happy i even told my horse mother tomorrow my girl when you see me hey 
I'll be rocking a new hairstyle. I'll be rocking dreadlocks. I even posted on my status hashtag on my way to the hair salon. I think that's what brought me. That's, that's what brought me bad luck, honestly. <laughs> I was like, hashtag on my way to the hair saloon, getting a new hairstyle, hashtag new vibes, hashtag a new hairstyle loading. So obviously the people that viewed my status, they kept on asking, we can't wait to see your hairstyle, we can't, we can't wait to see your hairstyle and everything and everything. Eh, Villa was so hyped up and ready. Okay, fine. I boarded a train, went to Vin, went to Vin. Got, went to Vienna. Got to Vienna, I went to the hair salon. So when I got to the hair salon, the lady was actually plating this other white guy. So the guy was plating um, braids, like with happens the normal braids. Okay, fine. When the lady was done with the braids, she, I, um, I spoke to her. I guys, like, listen to me properly. I showed her the picture before she even touched my hair. Like, I showed her the picture and I was like, this is what I want. Are you able to do it? She was like, yes, ah, this one is a very easy hairstyle. I've done this for a lot of clients. Don't worry, I'll manage. Really, I'm good. I've done this before. And then I asked her, like, are you sure you're able to do dreadlocks? She was like, yes, yes, don't worry. Don't worry, my sister. You're at the right place. Oh, you will look beautiful after this. I'm like, okay, fine. I sat down. The process, now, it looked proper. Like, it was a proper process. She opened, like, she's the one that literally started, that literally started those dreadlocks. So, she parted the ways, like, she parted the, the lines and everything. She started twisting my hair with gel, like how you start trying looks in a proper way. So she started twisting my hair with gel and everything. After the twisting, I think it took her like three hours to twist my hair. Everything was still fine. She put me under the the, the, the big dryer so that the, the, the gel can actually like so that the gel can actually dry up and she'll be able to, to style up the hair. Okay, fine. I went under the dryer. I think that took like one hour and some minutes. And then after that, I she asked to, to, to see the picture for the style once more. Okay, I showed her the picture. She looked at the picture and then she was like, okay, fine. I'm going to do this. Okay, fine. She was like, okay, uh, give me wool. Because she had given me like a, 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 a wool. So I was supposed to separate it. I was supposed to separate it and give the wool to her. I started doing that. I started separating the wool. Okay, fine. Like she had to first... I, I don't know how to explain this in English. But she had to wrap the wool around every lock. So that she would be able to style the locks with the wool. Cause my because my hair by then it was my hair was not locked up by then like that's four months ago so my hair was not locked up I still had the natural loose hair so I needed the wool in order for the style to be possible right she started the process heaven when she was done guys like I I looked at the mirror. And she kept on saying, hey, I want to knock off early today because yesterday I, I, I spent the whole night here. I ended, up, I ended up going home at one. So today, at least, and, and at that time it was around eight. She's like, today at least I want to go home and relax and everything. So hopefully I'll be done by nine. And then I'm looking at what she's doing in the mirror. And I'm wondering, okay, like the style that I showed her and what is happening on the mirror, like these are two different things. Like literally these are two different things. But how do I tell her that this is not it? Because I'm thinking, but I want red looks. But what I'm seeing, guys, this is not what I ordered, man. Yo, when she was finished, like literally, guys, when she was finished, ne? hey, <laughs> when she was finished, and I looked at the mirror, she was like, "Do you love it?" She's like, she was, a, she's an old person, right? She's probably more or less my mother's age. So I, I just couldn't have the guts to say, no, I don't like this. So I was like, yeah, it's fine. Thank you. And when I was not giving her the money to pay, yo, guys, it was 80 euro. Like, do you know how much 80 euro is in South African rands? That is like 1,500 rands. Like, literally, guys. <laughs> I was so heartbroken. I, I was so heartbroken. I almost cried on that day. Literally, I almost cried. And in her salon, like the way she actually had wigs. So I started inquiring about wigs that like, um how much are those wigs? Because I now wanted to buy a wig. Cause I, I I was like, okay, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go out in public looking like this. Yes, it's at night, but what about the next day? Like literally this won't work. Like, how will I even take pictures with this hairstyle on my head? Guys, it was so bad. And she was like, those wigs, they are 40 euro. I was like, ah, I don't even have that 40 euro. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll come the next time. So, in order not to break her heart, I even asked for her business card. So, I was like, okay, if I have a business card, I'll come back to retwist my dreadlocks. Hey! <laughs> when 
I walked out of the door, I was like, I'm not going back. I am not going back. I am going to learn how to retwist my hair. Even if it's the last thing that I'll do. If I want those dry dogs, I'm going to learn how to retwist my hair. And surely I learned. Like, literally, I learned. I never went back. I've been retwisting my hair for the past four months. Basically, I've been taking care of those dry dogs. And as you can see how well they've turned out, I've been doing all the work by myself. Because, guys, that pain, that pain is more painful than a heart break like literally i spent four hours in a hair salon and on top of the money that i paid the result that i got hey, and you know, people now asking me that one can show us the picture i didn't even know like how to send the picture of what was going on in my head i was like no i'm tired i'll deal with the picture tomorrow because like how was i going to explain that like if you're from south africa you know i'm a bands like i'm a bands like guys I, I don't even know how to explain what was happening in my head. But it was just traumatic. Like, literally, it was traumatic. And when I now understand when people say what I ordered versus what I got. The pain. Ah, shame. The pain will make you go crazy. Because I now had an option of, if I unplate, I'm literally unplating my 80 euro. And I cannot afford to unplate 80 euro. So what I'll do is, I'll stay with this 80 euro. Even if it's for three weeks, I stayed with that, with that hairstyle for three weeks. But obviously, I was wearing a wig on days whereby I had to meet people. So I was just wearing a wig in order to cover up everything. But I stayed with that hairstyle for, for three weeks. Because I kept kept on consoling myself with hair model. You want to take down 80 euro? Never. <laughs> Guys, yo, uh -uh. what I want versus what I got gone wrong. Versus what I got gone wrong. If you have if you have ever experienced like a bad bad hair saloon experience, can you please share your comments below? And hopefully you enjoyed my story story time. We love your story as you say it. So don't forget to come again. To come again. Yes, I'm coming again with another story time. And thank you for watching my video. I'm out of here, lady T. Love you. Bye.